Hi, everybody. Reese Davis with you, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Albuquerque, New Mexico, and University Stadium, the site for a ruthless college football battle. Moore is on the field to kick this one off, and everyone in the stadium is ready for this game to get started. He's to the 20. He's out to the 30. And down he goes at the 40-yard line. you got to love opening the game with a solid kick return like this. So here comes the offense taking the field for the first time today. Smith gains about five yards on the run. That'll make it second and four. They're about four yards away here on second down. And he carries the ball for a nice game. And a nice run by the tailback. Not a lot of razzle-dazzle here, but it gets the job done and picks up the first down. He's scrambling. He gets sacked on the play. You can't take sacks like that as a quarterback. You just can't. If you can't find a receiver, get out of the pocket and throw the ball away. Second down, and they've got 15 for the first down. Ball on the 46. out to his wideouts. They'll bring him down at the 48-yard line. Six yards that time on the pass play. Well, he really didn't have to do too much there to give himself a little room to make the catch. Third down, and they need to get it down to the 39. Let's it fly. Incomplete pass. This quarterback needs to give his playmakers a chance to make plays. He's got to be sure he gets the ball in their hands. Big kick here to try to pin the offense deep in their own territory. He's taken down at the 24. So the opening drive failed to produce any points. I'm sure the fans are thrilled to see their guys come up with an early stop in this game. Let's see if the offense can give them something else to get excited about now. Now the offense gets ready to take their first crack at it. Here's an opening. Tackle that side after a nice pickup. So it's second down now. They need about four yards to pick up the first. run and he's brought down he 
He's at midfield. At the 30, to the 20, to the 10. Tackled inside the five-yard line. This is one of their special plays they like to call to keep the defense off balance. When you can get first downs in unconventional ways, you have the edge over your opponent. First and goal from the three. Let's see if they can muscle this one in. Him hard at the three yard line. No gain on the play. That brings up second and goal. Smart decision to keep it for the score. And he hits the PAT. A six-play, 74-yard drive. And they come away with seven points. And Brad, right now, the offensive line just winning the battle in the trenches, opening up some big running lanes. New Mexico lines up for the kickoff. He's to the 20. Tackle at the 30. New Mexico's looking right now like they've got all three phases working for them so far, Kirk. Yep, it's early, but they are in control of this game. The defense is, seems to have a very good feel for what they're doing out there. The offense moved the ball down the field. Special teams, everything right now is really in sync for this team. You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their minds. They just need to go out there and play. And he's tackled around the 35-yard line. Harris brings his down at the 35-yard line. That brings them second and five. Second and five. Ball on their own 35. They go to the left for a nice game. Call it a game of four yards. That'll make it third and one. Gets out to around the 48. Terrific execution by the entire offense to make that run work and to get the third down conversion. First and 10, ball on the 48. Gives it to the back. Gets to around the 42. Makes it first and ten. Heavy on the edges, heavy on the edges. 41's coming, 41 to Mike. 18! 18! Throws incomplete. You know, Brad, this is one of those plays where the quarterback just wants to apologize to the wide receiver and maybe every other member of this offense. But the wide receiver, if he's smart, will come up to that quarterback, tell him to forget about it. Let's move on to the next play. Gives it off. And they make the stop at about the 43-yard line. If these defenders continue to exploit the O-line like that, it's going to be a long day for this running back. A tight, low-scoring game in that first 15 minutes. Let's see if things open up in the second quarter. New Mexico's lead is a touchdown. And we welcome you back to the action here. Just about set to start the second quarter. In the shotgun and five wideouts. On the kick. 
catch. Oh, they strip it out. Scott was the intended, intended receiver on the play. play. That brings us fourth and 11. Harrison is waiting for the snap. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. There hasn't been too much daylight between these two teams. In games like this, some players try to press too much, and that can cause mistakes. New Mexico, up seven points. If you kill it, most of it. Going right to his tailback. He's to the 40. Knocked out of bounds. Around the 43-yard line. Good gain on the pass to the running back. This young man is becoming more and more part of this passing game. He does a great job of making guys miss after the catch. First and 10. Ball on the 43. get him in the backfield. There are a lot of players in the college game that can make something happen when the blocking breaks down. But when it's that bad, I don't care who you are, you're going down for a loss. Taken down in the backfield. The lineman had a big push there to get in the backfield and bring him down. And once he gets moving, there's no stopping him. This guy is so big and strong that he's almost impossible to block with one guy. Third down, and they need to get it inside the 47. And he's going to be sacked for a loss. That is a loss of five on the play. After the sack, it's now fourth and long. Scott, back deep to return. Scott fields it at the 34, brought down at the 45. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Brought down right around the 42 yard line. That's a game of 13 on the play. First down. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 42 yard line. And he's taken down around the 30 yard line. Call it a game of 12 yards. That makes it first and 10. Pulls down the catch, and he's got room here. Tackle at the 25-yard line. Gain of five on the play. That brings him second and five. Second and five coming up here. Ball on the 25-yard line. Slings it left. Puts it right in his hands. Touchdown. They'll line up for the extra point in an attempt to tie the game. He splits the uprights with the extra point. A four-play, 55-yard drive, and that's good for a touchdown. Cowan looks ready to kick this one off. From the seven. And he's tackled at the 30-yard line.
This is the point in the game where you don't want to make any mistakes that give the other guys a reason to feel more confident going into halftime. He fights forward to about the 33. That makes it second and eight. From their own 33-yard line. Second down. Catches it, and he's punished. Here's the give. He's tackled at about the 39-yard line. Pick up of a yard for the tailback. The Roadrunners taking their first time out of the half. Bird to punt. He drops it. That's a tough play. Whether you lose the ball or not, it can mess with your head when that happens. The offense really came up with a nice drive there last time out, and most of those yards came through the air. This defense needs to improve from front to back. The line needs to put more pressure on the quarterback, and the defensive backs need to stick it to these receivers with tighter coverage. Defense looking for another sack in this second down and long situation. He scrambled. He's taken down around the 33-yard line. coming well the offense catches a break here that ball should have been intercepted there by the safety so the quarterback gets the ball back here for this next down Harris is back deep to return They'll bring him down to the 37-yard line. Both defenses really played well so far. Well, up to this point, both defenses have dominated this football game. We'll see if they can hold on to that mentality the rest of the way. You always want to go in the locker room with momentum. So as we get closer to halftime, I think we'll see more and more attempts to create big plays. Quick out to his receiver. And down he goes. Right around the 44-yard line. The Lobos will use their first time out of the half. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. He lets it fly. Incomplete. That makes it third and three. Over the middle to his tailback. The Lobo call a timeout. That's their second of the half. We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 48. And we'll probably see how far he can throw it as it should be the last play before the half. He sails it long. Can't make the grab. We played a half. We get a tie game at 7-7. Seven, seven. We played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. 
David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. Defense has been dominant in this game. Yards very hard to come by. But David, as we get deeper and deeper into this game, the natural assumption is that the pressure goes to the offense to do something. Yeah. How much pressure is on the defense not to make that catastrophic mistake? Well, that, that's the that's the conundrum you get in. I mean, it makes it exceptionally tough because you want to play perfect and you want to get them to punt every single time, but it's not the way it works. And it's those big plays that you usually see that kill the defenses and break their backs. And you can hold them great, Reese, on first down, second down, it's third and long. You're in a perfect situation. You give up that one play for 80, and it changes the whole complexion of the game. So I think you got to have a little bit of both. It can't just be great defense the whole time. Usually the teams that play great defense can keep you in it, but only for so long. At some point, that offense has to get something going. That's it for us here in the studio. What are you going to do in the second half while the game's going on? Yeah, I'm going to kick back and watch all these monitors. We'll keep you up to date on everything going on around the country right now. Time for the second half with Brad and Kurt. Welcome back, everybody. Second half action about to begin. Sims from the eight. He's out to the 30. And he makes it out to about the 31-yard line. Time's getting a little bit tighter now. you got to make every possession count. Four yards away here on second down. They'll get him for a loss. Well, you can really mess with an offense's game plan if you can take away their ability to run. yard line that's a gain of one on the play that'll bring up fourth and five Scott will be the return man makes it out to maybe the 40 yard line You don't want to squander any possessions, but maybe now's the right time to dip into your bag of tricks a little. Think about some gadget plays to catch the defense napping. And he's level at the 43-yard line. That's good for a game of three yards. That makes it second and six. Second down and six. Ball on their own 43. made at about the 45. Scrambling around. Lost the ball. Fumble. It's picked up by the defense. And he tackles him hard at the 40-yard line. And that's exactly what this defense was looking for. Yeah, that fumble gives these guys some added life. Now let's see if they can capitalize off of it. A lot of times you'll see teams start to clench up a little bit when games stay close well into the second half. You need to stay loose, keep doing what you've been doing all week in practice, and execute when it's time. He gets out to about the 42-yard line. Second and eight coming up here. Ball on the 42-yard line. He gets it out to about the 47-yard line.
Here's an opening. Gets out to around the 35. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 35-yard line. He makes it out to maybe the 33-yard line. Six-yard line. That'll make it third and one. It's third down, and this and offense is about three feet away from that first down marker. He's gobbled up in the backfield. Good, solid defense there to force him into a fourth down situation. That makes it fourth and four. yards to pick up the first down. Brought down around the three-yard line. That'll bring up third and two. So at the end of three, we're even at seven in this one. We played three quarters even. Fourth quarter is going to tell the difference. Henry gets a ball left side. Touchdown, New Mexico. Well, it's still early in the fourth quarter, and although they've relinquished the lead, I'm sure they think they can get it back. converts the extra point. Here's an update from the studio and Reese Davis. Let's check in on what's going on in Berkeley. And for Northwestern, they grab a W in the season opener. Gay's capable of explosive plays in the passing game, and he delivered plenty of them in this one, throwing for more than 300 yards. The Wildcats get the W, 31-23. Touchdown difference in this one, Reese, 14-7. More. Get set to kick this one away. Thorne takes it from the six. He's tackled at the 30. Up to this point, I wouldn't want to be an offensive coordinator in this game, but you know what? There's still time left. There's still time left, and it's still a competitive game. As bad as these offenses have looked, if you can string together a play or two, maybe try to get in the field goal range, who knows? Maybe a touchdown on the board could be the difference in the game. You know this is a real crucial time in the game. It could still go either way. Smith picks up five with the carry. That makes it second and six. From their own 35-yard line, second down. He makes it out to maybe the 36-yard line. McFadden only picks up about a yard there on the option. Three, 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 three. 
He's on the run. And he's taken down at the 46-yard line. First and 10. Ball on the 46. He's scrambling. Quarterback's going to run it, and he's got room to work. Loose football. It's recovered. What do you think about that last turnover, Kirk? Way to be heads up out there. That corner just made one heck of a play recovering that fumble. Things aren't tied, but they might as well be. It's this drive that could really dictate the tone for the last quarter. New Mexico up seven points. He makes his way to about the 48. From the 48-yard line, first down. it to the 45 yard line a couple maybe three yards on that run that'll make it Takes it out to maybe the 43-yard line. Call it a gain of two yards. Third down. From the 43-yard line, it's third down. Hey, number eight's coming. Number eight's Mike. Mike. New Mike, 52. Ready. Check, check. Hammerhead. Hammerhead. and he's got room here. He gets hit out of bounds at about the 29-yard line. UTSA will take their first time out of the half. It's first and 10. Ball on the 29. Just over two minutes in the game. Here we go. And he just gets rid of it. Brad, I just think this quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions. And especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football or check it down or take off and run with it. Nice run up the middle. Henry gets six yards on the play. The Roadrunners use their second timeout. So it's third down now, and they're going to need about four. Tries to buy some time. Tackle at the 22-yard line. He scrambled and maybe picked up a yard there. The Roadrunners using their third and final timeout. Tries to set up a screen for the wide receiver. He's tackled at the 12. It's the ninth play of the drive. He's taken down at about the three-yard line. Short yardage situation here. It's second down and one. This defense not wanting to give an inch here.
touchdown Lobos. He makes the PAT. Moore has the ball all teed up, and he's ready to kick this one off. Thorne from the seven. Tackle made at the 23-yard line. New Mexico's defense has just been awesome here in the fourth quarter. And the thing that's really stood out to me, Brad, is that when they've needed the stops, they've gotten it and gotten the football back to their own offense to put points on. Nothing left here except to see the clock hit zero. A comeback is just not happening. He's knocked out of bounds at the 41. He made a really good move at the line of scrimmage. Sometimes all you need to do is throw off the defender's timing just a little bit at the start of the play. From their own 41-yard line, it's first down. Going deep. That close to being intercepted. Boy, this is a great play by the safety to be able to be in a position to make this play. But he's got to be able to hold on to the football. You know, he's a big, physical, athletic guy. But you've got to be able to secure a football and make a big play when it presents itself. Going deep. Lays it out there. The junior makes the catch. And down he goes around the 14-yard line. Stops the clock with a spike. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on the 14-yard line. Middle pass, the tight end hauls it in for the score. Splits the uprights with the extra point. And he's tackled at the 41 yard line. The whistle hasn't sounded yet. They still have to snap the ball and make sure they don't make any mistakes. New Mexico is up seven. Favorite play in football of your quarterback. Take a knee. It's final. A close one to the very end. 21-14, New Mexico. That's it for this presentation of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreet, I'm Brad Nessler saying thanks, and we'll see you soon.